guys so to start the effects makeup you just saw on the previous pictures you're going to want to start by drawing yourself an outline an outline sorry where you're going to want to put the heart so to do that you're going to need liquid latex and tissue you're just simply going to wrap the lip the tissue in liquid latex to create like a sausage sort of thing also just excuse the mess that's behind my hands right now because um overall i'm a quite a messy person <laughs> Once you've done that, you can now apply the liquid latex or the tissue wrapped in liquid latex onto the outline to create um, a 3D outline for your heart. Um, to soften out the edges, what I just did is I took a cotton wool stick and I put some liquid latex on it. I just kind of put it on the edges of where you already have your like tissue cotton wool thing. This will make it stick better and also it's something I'm going to do later on in the video because then I realised I should have done it before. But just put more liquid latex on the side to kind of make the like your tissue blend into the skin. So just do it now or you'll see later on in the video if it'll make your life easier. I then went in and just applied a little bit more liquid latex with my finger just to make sure I had enough because obviously the cotton wool stick is very precise and I just wanted to make sure that I had enough. As well as smoothing out the edges and making it look like the heart is actually part of the skin kind of like popping out, the liquid latex holds everything together, it works as a glue because you see it, has to, it helps to stick. I then set everything using a translucent powder just so that after you could put cream paints or anything you want on top and so it would hold because if you don't the liquid latex will prevent most things from holding oh, anyway properly. So I then just applied a foundation on top of the tissue so that after when I tried to apply other products such as cream paints or water activated paints they um, the white wouldn't like be see through and like kind of ruin everything so if it, if you can see for it you'll see like a kind of skin colour. Once I fully covered the tissue I just reapply that same translucent powder to avoid this foundation from just moving and going all over the place. Okay I'm not too sure what happened here what I basically did was I used a water activated paint and I put it all over the center of the heart. I used the water activated paint because they're much easier to do bigger surfaces because they're not like thick and you can get the opacity, I think is how you say it, that you want. Another reason is because you can literally put it on and it will spread as much as you need it to, whereas the grease paints well don't because obviously they're grease paints and they will like kind of stick but then I did use the grease paints on <clears throat> the liquid latex and the tissue because they hold a lot better because well because of the fact that they stick so much and they're so hard to like kind of blend out but that is the reason to why they hold much better on the liquid latex whereas the water activated paints just kind of slide off like so fast it's just not even worth trying. So that's exactly what I did, I used the water activated paints in the middle to kind of get the bulk of it and then I used the grease paints on the liquid latex to get um, the colour to hold. After doing, uh, after getting the bulk of the red colour I decided to go in with a darker colour which is more of a purple, purpley colour and it was from the grease paint palette um, and I just guess some dimension of the heart pointing out that I then took this out later, like I then covered this part of the heart up later on so it's just because I didn't really know how I was going to like go with this but um, if you like the heart like it is now go ahead do this step if you're going to cover it up with uh, more liquid latex later you'll see for everyone in the video um, don't bother with the step it's, it's not, you're go it's going to be covered up anyway but if you like it how it is at the moment just keep going you know feel just go for it the darker colour is put to give some more dimension to the heart, just for I point that out. And also to make it kind of keep the shape of the heart clear because like when you have just one colour it can kind of just become just kind of a blob and it just makes sure that you can still tell what the shape is. 
I then went in on the sides of the heart with a yellow kind of grease painty colour to give a kind of um, irritated effect to the skin and so that it blends in to uh, everything else. Okay, this was the part when I said I, I covered up the heart. Okay, unfortunately this didn't film for some reason as well. But basically what I did was I had a little separate container in which I put some liquid latex and I put some grounded coffee and I just mixed it to kind of create until I felt like it was thick enough. And then I just really simply applied that all over. Um, all I would say is that you can basically use any sort of dry food that you want with this. I just chose to use the coffee powder because I felt it fitted very well. But um, go for anything you want. And also it dries much quicker when it has something else in it. So for, like I didn't realise how fast it dried. So it kind of made little blobs. So I literally say as soon as you've got your mixture ready just dab it on. Because if not it's going to dry. It dries really really fast. So just really go for it once you've got it. Because if not it's going to dry out. And it's going to make blobs like I did. To then make sure that my very creative mixture of coffee and liquid latex held, I added some more liquid latex on top of that. That also created um, less dimension, so there was like kind of less holes and it was slightly flatter, so you could tell like the blobs weren't so like evident, and just also to help it hold. After that, I just reapplied uh, trans translucent powder so that I could apply. Um, some more water activated paints on top of it. I know that earlier on I said uh, you shouldn't use water activated paints but here it was quite a big surface and also the fact it has so many dents in it like all with all the little holes and stuff would have made it really hard to blend out the grease paint so for like a base I use the water activated paints because that will kind of slide in a lot more. Another thing you could use is um, alcohol sorry activated paints because they're really good for that but I already had my water activated paints out so I just thought it'd be easier to use them. I then went in using a black grease paint to kind of emphasize the little dents of that were already existent um, in the texture of the heart to kind of give it more dimension and yeah just so it's not so flat. Using a red grease paint, I then um, put, uh, well grease paint obviously, on the liquid latex that I had reapplied on the side to cover it up and yeah, so just it fitted in with everything else. I then decided that there wasn't enough colour, enough dimension in the heart, so I went in with a slightly less, like not a black, but a darker colour than the red, the purple that we'd used at the start, and uh, filled in a few more dents and created um, a few more little holes and to give a bit more colour to the, to the heart. After bring out the, the brighter reds I went back over like the top like the bits like the the top bits of where the hearts are I went in with the brightest red so that like it, you can really see where like the top is like the brightest and then underneath it goes like really dark did that make sense I hope that made sense I then decided that you couldn't tell it was hot enough so went in with that same purple purpley color and went around the shape just to kind of like, just so you can like 
you can tell it's a heart and it just doesn't look like a random blob. Once I felt like there was enough colour, I just blended everything out with my fingers and the brush just so everything was even and it all looked like it was part of the skin or how, whatever you wanted to be part of. And finally, the most disgusting and the most fun part of all of this, finally the fake blood. I used the Ben Nye Scab Blood because, as the name says, it's kind of a very dark, scabby kind of blood and I feel and it's very sticky as well, it's a bit like jam. My sister, one of my sisters saw it and was like, Ella, that looks like jam. Um, yeah, so it's very sticky and it holds extremely well. So yeah, I always would put that before anything else and it just looks so gross and yeah, it's just, just perfect for what, you, what we wanted or for what I wanted here. And finally, because I wanted to look like quite a fresh scab or like quite fresh and disgusting and like drippy blood, I applied a liquid fake blood. Um, yeah, I just kind of uh, put that with the brush and I literally put, I put some into the lid and just kind of literally just like put it on. Make sure you put some on the edges as well so that it doesn't just look like it's just the side because obviously if you're going to get cut, blood's going to go everywhere so you need to some to go on the edges as well as just on the heart itself. Be careful because it does drip very much and on multiple occasions I had to like kind of stop it from going all the way down like the top <laughs> but yeah this is a completed look I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time bye oh p.s uh, this is my first video slash editing so please bear with me if um, it's not great but it will get better also if you have any particular request or like constructive criticism about this i'm very happy to hear it all in the comments down below bye